everyone. Welcome back to another episode of From Paycheck to Prosperity. I'm your host, Adela Passos, and today we have a special guest in our studios, singer, songwriter, and rapper, Mr. Evans Jordan. How are you doing today, Evans? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. (laughs) Thank you for joining us. So Evans is joining us today to discuss a little bit about Um, his background and his um, background as a personal brand in music and talk a little bit about the music industry. So let's jump right into the first question that we have for you today. Okay. Evans, so what are some key strategies that you've used to build your personal brand as a music artist that actually help gain some recognition in the industry? Um, in 2015 is when I started kind of making noise and started to kind of, uh, I guess you could say get discovered. Um, I used, uh, I first used, utilized SoundCloud, um, before I was on any type of big, uh, platform such as Apple Music, Spotify, and things like that, even YouTube. Um, and I don't know, I, I would release music and, um, friends of mine would share it. I mean, I try to post it everywhere and it just started gaining like numbers and streams and stuff like that. Um, and after that, I just, I did that up until I really got on big platforms in 2018. And that's when I started, uh, really, uh, uh getting bigger, uh, getting more streams, like about a hundred hundred K streams, uh, 500, just, just getting bigger. Um, so I would say that, uh, platforms, um, like that really helped me and shaped me. Um, and yeah, and, and friends, friends helping out as well, uh, sharing and, and, and streaming. Amazing. Okay. And then you mentioned friends. So can you describe some of your most valuable connections that have helped you in your music career? Uh, yes. One being uh, this guy named Rashawn Jay. He's a personal friend and he's also a musician as well. He raps and sings uh, and songwrites as well. Um, he's, uh, very big, uh, internationally and, um, him, uh, sharing my music and telling other artists and other people he knows, uh, in the industry about me has uh, definitely helped. Um, Alano Adon is someone who's, uh, kind of, who's, uh, popping right now, excuse me. And, uh, him sharing and collaborating with me has definitely helped uh, with the streams. Uh, and this other guy named Joey Vantes, I think it's Vantes or Vantes, excuse me if I'm saying that wrong, uh, he did a collaboration with me in 2021, and that kind of uh, slingshotted me up a little more, so I appreciate that. So collaborations has been pretty valuable yes, I would um, say. in the music career business. Okay. Yes. What kind of challenges did you face in the early stages of your music career, and how did you overcome those challenges? Um it's crazy. It's kind of like, it's actually kind of backwards in the very beginning. Um, well, 2015 up to like 2020, maybe 2021, things were going great. Streams were going up. I was being shared a lot on social media, this, that, and the third. And it's actually right now that I'm facing the challenges. Um, I feel like things are kind of slowing up a little bit, but I also feel like it's because a lot of people are doing, uh, they're being more innovative uh, on social media, like TikTok especially, um, I need to tap into that more and show face more on there. Cause I know that if you're doing posting a lot and showing yourself a lot to, to the world, they're going to be like, oh, who's this? Oh, I like this sound. Oh, let me tap into this. So uh, I would say just me um, utilizing that and, and uh, branching out more and doing newer things is going to help me overcome the challenges I'm facing right now, which is kind of like things are a little slow. But I know they'll pick back. Yeah, you seem to know and understand that marketing strategy. Yes. And for the people who are in the early stages of their music career, um, Evans is recommending make sure that you're on TikTok, make sure that you are constantly, you know, sharing your music, asking to share, you have that presence, okay. you're on SoundCloud. Yeah. Um, okay. Yes. So can you tell me how important marketing yourself is in today's music industry? If you don't market yourself, you will not be heard. You yeah. won't be heard. You won't be found. Um, it's just that's the key and core element in marketing. Um, because you can have that sound or have <clears throat> what you feel like people are, are, are searching for. Mm. But if you don't market yourself or even market yourself correctly, there's no exposure. There's no being seen anything. And that's currently what I'm working on, too. So if I have any advice, to definitely market yourself well. And that takes money and time. So be sure to <laughs> have that, you know. 
Yeah, money, time, and um, strategy. Oh yeah, right. definitely. Okay, so as an independent artist, how do you navigate royalties, rights, contracts, all that stuff in the music business? Um, yeah, being independent, it's you're you're kind of you're kind of your own boss. So uh, when you when you um, distribute your music, um, basically at the end of the month, or I'm sorry, after the end of every, I think, three months, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, um, you get a certain share or royalties that come in and you can just take it out and it goes right to your, you know, your, your bank account, whatever you have set up to it. Um, so, yeah, you're basically just in charge of all that until you get, like, a manager or anything. Um, so navigating it is just really up to you. Um, whenever you want to take it out, whenever you want to pull the shares, whenever you want to check on your funding, because there's a lot of analytical stuff that you can view you know, how things are doing. So, yeah, it's really just you at that point when you're independent. For navigating contracts, do you often seek legal help? Let's say, for example, collaborations. I'm sure a lot of um, upcoming artists want to understand mm -hmm. what happens when you do a collaboration with someone. Do you have to enter into a legal agreement because of royalties? Um, you know, for example, if you collaborate with someone and the song was on Spotify and it went viral. You know, how is that navigated as an independent artist? Who gets royalties? Do you recommend working with a lawyer or do you not recommend working with a lawyer? Um, I think the artists I work uh, with are they're, they're um, they have made a name for themselves, but they're not. Um, I would say, in no disrespect to them, they're very talented and they work hard in what they do. Um, but they're not uh, at a level as like. Like, I'm just going to, for an example, like Lil Wayne or Drake, they're not at that status. So whenever I collaborate with them or other people, there's no, like, legal stuff going on. Um, we kind of just say, hey, we want to work. Uh, either, you know, it, it's also there's a transaction involved. Um, and we just say, this is the amount of uh, royalties. We'll, we'll, you'll get this cut. I'll get that cut. And we agree to it. And we just do that. That's, that's how it's always been for me when I collaborate with someone. Okay. Yeah, I'm not too versed in that side of business, yeah. <laughs> um, but I would think that if they were a big artist, there oh, would yeah. be lots of legal involved. Very much so, and a lot of paperwork, I'm, I'm guessing, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a big artist, big artist. Okay. Um, so how do you balance the aspect of creating and making music while still maintaining a full-time career? That is a great question. Um you just have to find that balance. Um, I know that's cliche or like, all right, let's play that. Um, you really just have to figure out, you have to find time. You have to find time for everything, you know, with your own career that you're, your day-to-day -day life, your job, working out, whatever you're doing. Um, you have to make time for that. And then when you're feeling creative, as a creative and a content creator, whether it's music or YouTube, what have you, you have to make time for that. Um, sometimes it's hard because maybe certain things will take more, more of your time. But you really just have to find that balance. That's like my best advice. Okay. Yeah, productivity, time management is very yes. important, no matter what industry you work in. Yes. Um, and I have some tips for that. So I like to uh, channel out my schedule so that I have like bulk hours. Yeah. And if I'm going to be creating YouTube videos or podcasts, I'll just say, hey, from about before, this is what I'm locked in doing, mm, not perfect. doing anything else. Yeah. And maybe I do that three or four times a week. So then that ensures that that task gets done. You yeah. don't do anything else during mm. those hours. Yeah. And then, you know, again, like you said, find your balance. If you need to hit the gym, maybe you get up earlier to hit the gym yeah. that day. But you still get the gym done. You still get your housework done. You still yes. get your videos and yeah. music created. Yes. Um, okay. So next question. All right. Have there been any specific turning points in your music career that has impacted your productivity? Um, I would say right now. Um, it's just very, it's very slow right now. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm very, I like to be vulnerable. I like to be honest. I don't like to show you a lie. It's, it's very slow right now. So there's times where I get discouraged. I'm going to be honest. Like I'm going to get so real right now where I'm like, is this even worth it? Do I want to do this anymore? But I, I, I literally eat, breathe, and sleep music. Yep. But I have for so long, and I feel like I have this gift of music not to toot my own horn. I feel like, why give up now? Because they always say there's that one song that maybe you're holding on to or you haven't made it, made yet, 
And what if you drop that and send that out? And that's the one that gets you in the door. Yeah. So I, I truly believe that. And um, I feel like just with everything going on in life right now, uh, distractions or just real life happening. Yeah. Um, I just have to find that balance again, that hunger again to, to really uh, just uh, lock in and dive in with the, with the music. But yeah. so I'm still hopeful. I'm still going. And, and yeah, just still growing in a lot of areas. Yeah, Musically. I think there's a lot of artists that struggle with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't just give up. general life points, yes. turning points in life, yes. having to juggle a lot. Yeah. Um, and that impacting their actual productivity. Oh, yeah. Like you said, they have passion, they love making music, yeah. but yeah. it also comes with like, if you're working full-time job, mm -hmm. if it's not 100% your mm -hmm. career, um, yeah. things can be challenging. Oh, yeah. So totally yeah. understand that. Yes. So what's your best advice for aspiring artists that are looking to build a successful personal brand in the industry? Um, definitely write everything down. Uh, Especially if you're a visual person, I would write it all down, look at it every day like a madman, mm -hmm. a madwoman, um, and just be like, that's my goal, and I'm not going to stop until I achieve it. Um, and I would just just work at it every day if you're a singer, uh, or uh, do singing lessons, take singing lessons, or just sing songs. I would do covers of songs, you know what I'm saying, just to improve yourself. If you're a songwriter or a rapper, just every day work on your craft. Whenever you have free time, just be obsessed with it. And literally don't stop. Um, the marketing, work on that. Uh, Google is a great tool to use to learn how to market better. Uh, maybe you have friends who are marketers. I would ask them, flood them with questions and then, uh, get information like that. Just basically just be obsessed with the craft and don't stop. Just stay at it because there's that one day when you pop and you're like, wow, and you're in there. You know what I mean? So stay yeah. at it. Amazing. Awesome. And I've heard a lot of your music and I know that people often say you sound like Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Has that yeah. helped you? Has that helped leverage anything in the music industry? For I you? definitely think so because a lot of people are like, oh man, I want to work with that guy. He sounds like Drake, or whatever, which is cool. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Uh, but I definitely feel like I'm, in my opinion, you know, I definitely am a fan of Drake, yeah. but I try my best to uh, uh, make sure my sound is mine. Yeah. But I appreciate always the comparisons, being that he's the biggest artist, you know. Like yeah. And stuff. Absolutely. It's cool. <laughs> I just laugh at him. I appreciate it. All right. You know? I have another question for you okay. about um, Spotify. So okay. for the up and coming artists who may be on SoundCloud, they may be pushing their music out on social media and yeah. now they've decided to take the jump to you know join spotify yeah what kind of tips can you offer to someone who's trying to get more visibility on the spotify network um more shares and more streams and ultimately make money on spotify mm -hmm. so there's a there's a, there's a ton of websites that help with that the um, one that my go-to actually is called submithub.com and if you're an artist you go on there and um, you, you you do pay for credits, but it goes it goes right back into to the music, and you basically earn it all back with the streams that you get. You you purchase a credit of um, people who have uh, playlists. You can get added to the playlist if you you pay the credit. They review your music, they review your song or, or whatever you're doing, content creator, what have you. If they like it, they add it to it for a set of a uh, month or a couple months. And they have a lot of people that normally tune in and listen to the uh, music on the playlist. So that's my way of uh, getting more streams. So I would definitely uh, recommend using Submit Hub for Spotify users if you're an artist on there, if you want to get streams and royalty, et cetera, et cetera. Amazing. Awesome. Yeah. So as we're wrapping up, um, again, this is our special guest, singer, songwriter, rapper Evans Jordan. If you have any questions on anything he's talked about today, feel free to leave comments um, or email me directly. Evans, where can they find you at on social media? Um, I am on Instagram, and my Instagram is, drumroll please, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, it's, it's my name, Evans Jordan. Um, it's actually loading up right now. I'm, I'm embarrassed. It's Evans Jordan, just with two N's after the Jordan. Um, I am also on X, formerly known as Twitter. Um, I believe my name on there is at the patient for him, yes. And those are the two big um, platforms that I use to, to get your, my music out. How about your Spotify? Oh, my Spotify. Yeah. Can't forget about that. My Spotify is, I'm actually, <clears throat> I'm, I'm in the process of changing my artist's name. It was Patience. Now it's Evans Jordan. 
So I'm not officially, officially on there yet. My old music is. Uh, but when I'm on there, it will be at the sort of Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is there anything else? Any last uh, messages you'd like to leave for the audience? Um, for aspiring and upcoming artists, please do not stop. Don't get discouraged. As crazy as life is right now, um, just keep tapping in. Keep, keep going harder. Uh, gain as much knowledge as you can about the music industry and music in general. And just have fun. I feel like the moment, this is a lyric, <laughs> but the moment you stop having fun with it, you're done with it. Uh, I believe mm. Drake said that, or J. Cole. But it, it's so true, um, because I'm noticing that I'm not having as much fun, so I'm slowing down a little bit. I have to find that hunger and that drive again to have fun, because that's, it's, it's so fun. Making, making something, putting it out there, and then getting feedback or it really getting big is an amazing feeling. So just don't stop, especially if you love music as much as I do, because I'm crazy about it. That's, <laughs> that's what it is. That's what it takes. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. And you guys, I'll see you guys in the next one on the next episode of Paycheck to Prosperity. Don't forget to like this episode. And if you guys are looking for business resources, head on over to adelapasos.com slash resources. And I'll see you guys soon.